Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do some beef chuck short ribs. They're gonna be great, so stick around. All right guys, it's been over a year since we've done some beef short ribs and these beef chuck short ribs were on sale at a local grocery store. And man, when you see those things on sale, you grab them, freeze them, save them for a rainy day or, you know, cloudy day or a beautiful day. <laughs> All right, guys, really quick, if you love great barbecue, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and share with all your barbecue buddies. All right, guys, for today's cook, uh, we're going to be using this Uncle Steve's Shake Lucky Shake. This is a really good all-purpose uh, seasoning, just like it says. We really love Uncle Steve's Shake products, guys. If you want your own, get yourself some. Uh, link down in the description. But what we're going to do right now is just uh, give it a nice generous topping of, of all this stuff. Okay guys, this one I've decided to just go ahead and separate the two halves, guys. It should cook much better like that. Take off some of that extra uh, fat, you don't need that. Guys, there we go. Just a really good, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna call them like a medium covering here. Guys, I'm just gonna let those flavors all get nice and happy with each other. And uh, I'm gonna go over to the Traeger and get it started. All right guys, make sure you always got some nice, fresh, uh, very well dried uh, pellets, guys. These are just an all-purpose uh, pellet here. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're um, Traeger brand this time around, uh, but I really like them. Um, just get what works for you in your environment, how you store them. Just find a good pellet and stick to it. Consistency is a key. You've seen me use this cast iron little ladle uh, thing during my steak cooks, okay? Now, I want a water pan in here uh, because this is a very dry environment with these trekkers, okay? Uh, now, it's a cold day today, which means there's not a lot of uh, moisture in the atmosphere. So I'm going to kick it up a little bit. And now that it's done its startup routine, I'm going to go ahead and set it for 275 and close this down and let this get warmed up. differently than our last beef rib video is instead of spritzing with a beef broth we're going to be spritzing with a apple cider vinegar water 50 50 mix we're going to do that at least two hours from now once i can tell that bark is set up to where i like it the old finger test shouldn't be rubbing off the reason i'm doing that is last time we did these ribs that beef broth just gave it a little too much of an extreme beef flavor on the outside and i really didn't like that so i really like this method with brisket and all the other barbecue that we smoke and this is essentially the same thing so that's why. up in the foil known as the Texas crutch right back on the smoker now I crank up the smoker now to about uh, 300 you can even go 325 now that that's wrapped you can go up higher on the temperature and really push it through to the end now my goal is to reach somewhere around 200 to 205 but once it's probe tender in other words a probe like this going through in the consistency of like cold butter then that's what I'm looking for maybe even warm butter you know but 
you don't want it to grab a hold of the meat and be able to pull back. You want to just slide in, slide out. So that's going to be my determination. I figure another hour or two and we should be good. Then I'm going to let them rest and we're going to eat them. All right, guys, before we get on to the grand finale of revealing those beautiful beef short ribs to you, I want to show you a beautiful hard maple cutting board that Pete from Pete's Garage Workshop built for us. Guys, he selected the wood, he cut it, he laminated it together, he then laser cut our channel logo on it. Guys, this came out beautiful, custom made 100%. We love it, and uh, we've actually been afraid to put too much on it in fear of staining it. Of course, this uh, chopping board was uh, meant to be used, so this is how we're gonna do the reveal. There we go, there's one there. One there. You a cute little guy right there. The one didn't come out that bad. Right there. Now this one was kind of tall and it kind of fell over in the trigger, but that's okay, but uh that guys. Yeah, I'm going to take this one right here and show you this one. And I'm just going to kind of do a slice down the side here, guys. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Got away from me. There we go. Oh, guys. Looks so juicy. Mm. Now, of course, it's trigger. Not a whole lot of smoke, but that's okay. Definitely tastes to me. Definitely got that beef going on, that crust, or that bark. Definitely formed really well. Bark out, bark came out really nice. Mm. Uncle Steve shake did his job. So did the treasure. Mm. All right, all right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe to the video, and uh, comment down below. Tell us what you think about these. Um, and thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Say bye.